Hi, I'm Josh Ward with Alpha Hosting. Today we're going to do a little mission prep and talk about HTTP error codes. The first thing to say about error codes is that they suck uh, and they're helpful, right? Error codes are sort of guides, right? Initial um, guides so that we know where to look uh, to fix things when they've broken or things have gone wrong. Um, but they suck because that means something's broken or it's gone wrong. It's always great to have a little bit of direction, but we'd rather be problem free if we had our preference. We're going to specifically talk about 400 and 500 error codes. 400 is like a, it's a client side error code, think um, website, whereas a 500 error code is more uh, server side. So think web server. So 400 website, 500 web server. Some general causes or the meanings behind the error codes, if we just look at the 400 list uh, first, uh, a 401 meaning unauthorized just means that you, know, you need a username and a password. Uh, it's been, you know, this directory or, or this file has been locked down. I mean, you can't access it without, without the proper credentials. A 403 forbidden is, is, is a similar issue, but that just means the permissions on a certain directory or file that you're trying to access with your browser aren't set so that you can actually read those files. So you'll need to change the permissions on those directories. And then finally, 404s are probably the most common uh, 400 errors, and those would be um, not found errors, meaning you know I've typed in a URL that doesn't actually exist. Um, and so either you know I got that wrong as, as somebody who was typing a URL in and I need to fix that, or it doesn't actually exist. Like the, the page is, is gone or has disappeared um, or had never been. Uh, on a certain website. On the 500 side, again, you know, server errors. Uh, 502, a bad gateway error, just means that um, you know, rec your browser recognizes that there's a uh, a proxy in between you know your browser and the actual website. Could be like a CDN, um, and then it's it's not available. It doesn't have um, the information for the website you're looking for. Um, a 503 service unavailable means that there's you know so many um, typically there's enough uh, requests going into the server um, that PHP no longer has um, any workers to provide your browser with a place in line right so there's there's no way to sort of get you in the queue so that the server can process your requests and and spit something on the other end so think high levels of traffic in a similar fashion a, a 504 is where there there was in fact a PHP worker, right? You you were sort of assigned a place in the queue, but you've been in the queue for so long, and there aren't enough server resources to process your request um, that it's timed out after a certain period of time. So, all all sort of bad things, things that we'd like to not see. Um, but the good news is there are resolutions for these, and so some common resolutions when you see these errors, right? On a, on the 400 side, um, always try clearing the cache in your browser. Uh, reloading the web page, sometimes that's all it takes to, to fix those things. Uh, check your file permissions, um, request access from your webmaster if, if something's been locked down um, to a username or password. Uh, you can always start try restarting your browser, which is just sort of a you know, potentially a more extreme way of, of clearing your cache. Uh, double check the spelling of the URL that you may have typed into your browser bar. Uh, and then finally, you, know, you can always check the logs on the server. Um, that's always a really effective way to see um, you know, get a little bit more information on what happened when those errors uh, came up, right? More specific information. On the 500 side, you may just want to try back later, right? If your request timed out, um, you know, we're coming up on Black Friday and Cyber Monday, you may go to your favorite e-commerce website and want to buy something. Uh, and it may, the, may be that they've been so slammed with traffic and perhaps their web host couldn't handle it. And, uh, and so you're getting a, a timeout error. And so you may just want to try back later when traffic volumes are a little bit lower. Uh, if it is your website that's timing out, then you may want to do things like reconfiguring the HT access file, right? There may be an error there that's not allowing the, the proxy to function correctly. Uh, you may just want to reboot the server, right? Clear out all the processes and let those build up again. Usually that's just a patch and what you really need um, is to add resources, right? You need to scale up um, either vertically or horizontally to get more resources to process the traffic that you're seeing. Um, always think open a support ticket. Whenever I see a 500 error on a site that I may own, I think, wow, I need to contact my, my web host 
um, quickly. Because um, even though they may not have broken something, uh, they may definitely be able to help you fix something or provide the best recommendations on how to fix that. And then again, check your logs. That's been Mission Prep with Alpha Hosting. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, follow us on social media, and stay tuned for more updates from Alpha Hosting.